What is happening with Temecula's huge new construction community, Somers Bend? What kind of homes will they be offering? How much will they be? And when is it opening? That's what we're talking about today. Here we go. Hi, I'm Jessica Janung with Active Realty. I post a new video every week telling those of you who are considering a move to the Marietta Temecula Valley everything you need to know about the area. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification if you want to keep up to date on the local housing market. Getting to our topic, Somers Bend is a highly anticipated master plan new construction community in Temecula. I have been getting lots of calls and emails from clients that are interested in Somers Bend. So when will the sales centers be open? It was scheduled to be this summer, but now they are saying fall. From what I can tell, and mind you, I am speculating here, I would guess in about two months or so, the models will be open. I drive by the site quite often, and here is what is happening as of yesterday. The models are up, but they're not completed yet. Security is not letting anyone who is not a construction employee onto the site yet, not even to drive through. The other day I was there, the gate was closed and security personnel was at the entrance. One way you can see the progress is by checking out an aerial video that Woodside Homes recently posted here on YouTube. They have a drone fly over the community. Woodside Homes, by the way, they're the master developer of the community. I have a link to that video down below in the description. It's pretty cool. As soon as the models are open, I will let you know. Um, real quick tip when buying new construction. If you are interested in Somers Bend or any other new construction community, it is very, very important that you take your knowledgeable and experienced agent the very first time you visit a new construction community. If you go to a new home sales center and your agent is not with you on that first visit and you end up purchasing a home, the builder will typically not later allow you independent representation. Instead, your interests are going to be represented by the agent that is the employee of the builder. Independent representation does not cost you anything. The buyer's agent commission is paid for by the builder. New construction is much different than purchasing a resale home. There are many details a great agent can help you with, and I'm gonna name a few. They can help you uh, negotiate closing costs, upgrades incentives, and these upgrade incentives, they can vary from builder to builder and community to community. They can help you with lot selection. They can attend your design center appointment with you and tell you what is worth upgrading and and what is not. Um, your independent agent, they can also tell you how a particular community stacks up to other local options. There is a lot of info and details to keep straight and having somebody on your side can definitely provide you peace of mind. My husband Chris and I are both full-time agents in the Temecula Valley. We are happy to meet you at Somers Bend and show you around there once it opens, of course, or any other neighborhood. We sell a lot of new construction throughout the valley and it's kind of become our specialty lately. Give us a call, we absolutely love to hear from you. So why has Somers been so highly anticipated? Well, because it's likely the last new construction community of its size to be built in Temecula. As each year goes by, Temecula is becoming more and more popular to move to. Prices are going up and available land to build is becoming scarce. Also, the prices in Somers Bend are looking pretty fair for new construction. We're gonna to touch on that a little later in the video. The majority of the homes in Somers Bend are going to be priced starting in the mid 400,000s and mid 500,000s based on what it says on the website. Compare that to other new construction communities in Temecula, such as Marbella by Lennar, which is currently starting at $730,000 and goes up from there. Other than Marbella, there's only one other new construction community going on in Temecula right now, and that is called Rancho Saleo. There are several other new construction communities being sold in neighboring Winchester and Marietta, such as Spencer's Crossing, which I have a video of. Another reason Somers Bend is so highly anticipated is the location. Let's take a look at the map. It's located right off Butterfield Stage and Marietta Hot Springs. This is a highly desirable location as it's about a five minute drive to Temecula wine country. There are some great wineries right around the corner, including my favorite lately, which is, which is Pelter Winery because they have some really fun stuff that includes the kids. I talk more about those activities in this video and if you have small kids or grandkids that you wanna keep entertained, go ahead and check out that video. 
One fun thing about the location is that you can walk right across the street to the Temecula Berry Company. This is another popular place to go with kids for a fun outing. You pick your own blueberries and they have a cute little shop where they sell homemade products. Lots of photo ops at this cute farm. Even when there is no pandemic, the farm is seasonal and I think it's only open for about six weeks, which usually starts around May. All of this talk of the wineries, um, besides making me in the mood for a glass of wine, leads me to my next topic, which is the name, Sommer's Ben. What does it mean? Sommer's Ben is supposedly derived from the word sommelier. I never know if I'm saying that correctly, I probably butchered it. Um, I normally think as a sommelier as a wine connoisseur, but apparently the general meaning is a connoisseur of the good life. The community is nestled um, by wine country and amongst the vineyards, so you can certainly live the good life with all the things to do in the area, the beautiful scenery, the high-ranking schools, and the Mediterranean climate. But no community is perfect, so I will briefly touch on some of the cons. If you've seen many of my other videos, our goal is not to paint an overly fluffy picture of the area, but to give you all of the information that you need to know. This includes the good and the bad, so you can make an informed decision to whether you think this area will be a good fit for you. The first con is this is not an easy area for commuters. That is the case for many popular Temecula communities as you move east towards wine country. Somers Bend does not have fr uh, great freeway access. It is at least a 10 minute drive to the freeway and most of the time you're looking at about 15 minutes if you catch a few signals and traffic. The next con is going to be the property taxes. Now I have not yet seen what the special assessment taxes will be for Somers Bend, but no, most new construction in our area is around the 2% overall tax range. I anticipate a four to $5,000 special assessment, otherwise known as Melarus, and I will let you know for sure once I get that information. As a general rule, the newer the home, the higher the taxes typically in our area. The next con is going to be the lot sizes. From what we know so far, the website says the maximum lot size is going to be 5,500 square feet. This is small, otherwise known as low maintenance in sales terms. When the lots are small, the size of the home and the positioning of the building of the lot has a big impact. So my guess is that the driveways are gonna be fairly short, placing the homes closer to the street to allow for more room in the backyard. There are single stories that are being planned to be built there, as well as two stories. The footprint of a single story often takes up more of the lot, which is already small in this case. So I anticipate that the single stories are going to have particularly small backyards. If a larger yard is important to you, I recommend that you focus on the two-story homes. Okay, we are going to take a look at the communities that are coming up. So as I think I mentioned in my video, Woodside Homes is the master builder, and then there is also Taylor Morrison and Richmond American. So I'm just going to start here. Looks like we're kind of in order from most expensive to least expensive. So you can see you've got Everview by Woodside Homes. Those are going to be pretty large, 3,300 square foot homes, starting from a little bit under 600 to the low 700,000. So that's definitely the most expensive. And then you have a lesser expensive community also by Woodside called Canopy. And those are going to be up to 2,500 square feet. So a little bit smaller. And those are going to be a little bit less expensive starting in the mid 500,000s. Then you've got Esplanade by Taylor Morrison. And it looks like that is going to be your 55 and older community. There is a senior community uh, within Somers Bend and they are supposedly going to have like their own clubhouse and facilities. Um, so those are going to be up to 2,500 square feet and those are starting in the mid 400,000s. Moving on, we're going to look at um, the next two communities are Richmond American communities, which um, there is a lot of Richmond American communities in our area. I mean, just in not too far down the road in Spencer's Crossing, they have three communities uh, for Richmond American just within the one community of Spencer's Crossing. So here we've got Arborly 
and that is going to be their larger community with larger homes. Um, so you've got up to 2,900 square feet starting in the mid 500 thousands. And then if your budget is a little bit less or you're looking for a smaller home, they are also offering canvas and that is going to be up to 2,300 square foot homes in canvas starting from the mid 400 thousands. So a much more affordable price point there. Keep in mind that Woodside Homes and Richmond American in particular have highly, highly upgraded models. You could easily spend 100 to 150,000 extra above the purchase price to get your home to look like the model. I was just in a design center with one of my clients last week buying a Pulte home and he didn't even go too crazy on the upgrades and the bill came to about $68,000. Not hard for it to add up. The flooring and all models are always upgraded and that alone can be tens and tens of thousands of dollars in flooring alone. A lot of my clients, they choose the standard flooring and then they bring in their own contractor to upgrade the flooring after the close of escrow. I am not going to get into all of the amenities in this video in the interest of time, but they will be some of the best in Temecula from what I hear. Resort style pools and a lap pool, clubhouses, miles of walking trails, a huge uh, sports park, fitness room, the list goes on and on. To learn more about buying new construction, I recommend that you check out my video, Five Tips for Buying New Construction. Keep an eye out for future Somers Bend videos that will be coming up. Thanks for watching. Bye.